Welcome. Again, I'm going to try to set up a little test here. I've been trying to get my camera set up to work how I'd like it to, and I haven't quite got it done yet. But we're going to put on a little test that I call News and Stuff, and eventually I'll try to put it up at, on YouTube as News and Stuff, and today it's going to be about some stuff Basically, it's going to be on some gun control. As you know, uh, me and my sons, proper English, my sons and me and myself, is a little bit of a gun enthusiast. I guess I brought him up that way, and uh, well, that's how it is through their life. But what we're going to do today, we're going to read a little something out of Front Sight magazine. It doesn't seem to be copyrighted, so we're going to try to run it that way. Florida man defends home family with gun. A Melbourne man was thankful he had a gun for four young men broke into his home where he lived with his wife and child. Hearing the noise of the break-in and taking up his gun, he fired at the intruder, striking one and routing the rest. The culprits were arrested when they took their injured accomplice to for medical treatment. Man fights off armed home invaders. A Land of Lakes home invasion by two men armed with a fake gun was foiled when they entered into an armed citizen with a real one. After the bad guys forced their way into a home and not knowing the assailant's gun was not real, the armed men drew his legally carried 40 S and W, that Smith and Western handgun and fired at the intruders, hitting both multiple times. They managed to flee, but collapsed due to their wounds outside a home. A passing nurse stopped and rendered aid to the wounded criminals. Both men will face charges on their release from the hospital. Oklahoma team teen uses a 12-gauge shotgun to end home invasion. When a 16-year-old intruder tried to force his way into Hominy Home at 1 a.m., the 17-year-old son of the owner had to use deadly force to stop him. The incident started with persistent banging on the front door. When a 10-year-old daughter mistakenly opened the door to the intruder, the mother slammed it shut in his face. When the intruder began punching his way through the door, she called for her 17-year-old son to get his shotgun. He did and fired on the intruder as he tried to open the latch through the window he had broken, killing him. Osage County authorities are reviewing the incident. This happened... Uh, Newson6.com in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't know what they're reviewing about myself. Colorado. Motorcyclist uses concealed handgun to thwart robbery. A Colorado Springs motorcycle, a Colorado Springs motorcyclist had pulled off the road to change clothing when a car pulled up behind him. From the car sprang three men one armed with a knife who demanded money. Rather than comply, the cyclist struck the man with the knife and drew his legally carried pistol. All three assailants fled at the sight of the gun. The Gazette, Colorado Springs. .com. Armed Ohio man ends assault on fiancé. A Cleveland man noticed from his home window that three men he had met his fiancée in the garage and were trying to force her back into the house at gunpoint. 
taken up his legally owned handgun, he waited until they were near the front door to open fire, hitting one of the would-be kidnappers and put the three to flight, ending the confrontation. All three criminals were shortly captured by police. This is in Cleveland, Ohio. A Georgia clerk kills armed robbery. A convenience store in the West Georgia town of Villa Rica was closing when a 19-year-old entered the store and produced a gun and demanded money. The store clerk drew his own gun and shot the robber, killing him and ending the crime. The store clerk is not expected to be charged by police. The store, if you do that around a bunch of stores here in Arizona, you get fired. They'd rather have you dead than protect yourself. Texas man stops home invasion, saves family. When three men forced their way into his apartment, a Houston man knew what to do to protect his wife and four children. He used a pistol he kept for defense to fire on the burglars, hitting two and causing the third to flee. Investigators considered the incident to be a homeowner defending his home and family, but the case is still referred to the grand jury. This one is Houston, Texas. I don't know what to refer to. He has every right. Armed New Jersey business owner stops daylight robbery. A man with his backpack and handgun entered a, a new work business in the middle of the weekday and demanded money and gold and threatened to shoot the store owner's family if he didn't get what he wanted. Rather than comply, the business owner drew his own gun and shot the robber, who later died of his injuries. Texas County's authorities are investigating the incident. That's in uh, New York, New York. You have every right. You know, even the Lord gives us a right to defend ourselves. In Luke twenty-two thirty-six, he told Peter to go out and if you have to sell your coat, sell your clothes, then buy a sword. Now some of our ministers will say, well that's so I can show later on that when Peter used that their sword to cut a soldier's ear off. It doesn't say that then. It says to go buy a sword. Others tell you that they're going to turn your swords into plowshares. But check your Bible. Before it says that, it says to turn your plowshares into swords and pruning hooks. Check it out. And I say this. A man has a right to defend his home. And our Constitution, I should pull it up for you. I could do it here, but I didn't. To define, defend yourself and your property. Check it out. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day, and we'll see how this test works out. You have a good one now. Bye for now. Until next time.